Right, hello. Hello. Say hello. Oh, can we pet this guy there? There hello. he is. Ah, and welcome to the Geek Club as usual. And today we have a unusual one, a Sun Ultra 60 with Creative 3D. What does that say? Yep. Create all 3D. Create all 3D. Yes, this is found as the, in the usual source and the skip going out. And when we tried to power it on, all we got was this power light came on flashing and the hard drive uh, sort of did a sweep across and back and then shut up and then it all sat stable. So, very kindly, Rob has driven over from uh, the normal universe Earth into this parallel universe Earth where the, the lab is located. <laughs> Because he knows a lot more about these things, and he's going to try and get it going. He's, Indeed, he's got a. We think the hard drive might still be working, but he's got a new hard drive, and we're going to install Solaris onto it. Uh, what else are we going to do to it? Um, give it a bit of a RAM upgrade as well. Give it a bit of a RAM upgrade so yes. it can actually boot and uh, get this going. These were how much were these new? Thirteen thousand pounds. About, £1, about thirteen grand. Yeah. Thirteen grand. So he's got a VT five twenty here to talk to it initially. And an adapter so it can talk to a normal monitor rather than anything fancy. Yep. Um, so he's pre prepping away, he's excited there. <laughs> it is incredibly dusty in the machine at the moment. And uh, also got the live chat going on, it's silent at the moment so we can record. But I'm not going to put my, cam my sound back on for the live chat so they can actually hear what we're saying. But they ah. we can't hear them. So you can hear us now doing the video. So, yeah, so they are behind there. Uh, Doing the live chat, which you can watch, it's going to be very long, probably about eight hours, <laughs> and then there might be another <laughs> one after because we're doing it tonight as well. So, we're going to what we're we going to do first. First of all, we're going to get that hard drive, uh, hard drive, power supply, and out. we're going to pull it out to get the RAM in there. Right, so we'll be back once the power supply is out and we can have a look at the RAM. Indeed. We'll be right back. Right, Robert's he's the expert. He's going to show us how to put the uh, memory into here. Let me see my camera, make sure it's pointing at you. Right. There we are. I'm just zooming a little bit. Oh, go on then, talk about the memory then. Yes, first, look at that. <laughs> wow, it's massive. Yeah. The memory's Slightly not bad different. either. <laughs> <laughs> Give you all some sash there in the live chat. <laughs> I just have to remember which way around it goes because there's no way of telling. Well, there is a way of doing it. <laughs> There's loads of sexual in your windows going on there, yeah. Uh, I've tried it in most positions. It seems to work. <laughs> Never had that many complaints, that's for certain. Here we now go. Now he's admitting it, see? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it is. It's slightly more towards way. that side. I think Try not down the front way of the camera there. It's just me. It's all right, you're all right. fine. Um, so, a bit, zoom in a bit. <laughs> there we go. We zoomed in. Dual reflection. Yeah. Right. Oh, off the chrome domes. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> so, right, we're, just, we're, just, we're just interacting with the live chat as well at the same time. Right. right. I'll right. get you back for that, Sash. <laughs> <laughs> Twin chrome domes. <laughs> Right. Memory installed. Oh, I'm all well, in. Yeah, well, there's a lot more to go in. Bloody hell. I thought you were knocking me up to a gig. Uh, oh, it's four, isn't it, for a gig? Yes. Ah, it's only 256 each. Uh, I think they're two five sixes. Well, they must be if there's six, eight. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give this a try, and uh, if we can get it to a gig, I don't know whether the two five six or. So, why ah. do these machines take so long to boot compared to Windows? Um, it's the diagnostic systems that they use. Uh, they did try and make it as idiot-proof as humanly possible. So I failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've now got one gig of RAM in there and 256 kilobyte. Which isn't bad for a 19... Uh, 98. 98 machine. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually written several places, which I can't find at the moment. Yeah, so I'll zoom back out. I want to see the dirt in there. You lovely. Right, so what's going on? Drive's going in next, doesn't it? Um, the original is somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. We're going to give this one a shot. <clears throat> yeah, we'll give that one a shot first, and then right. I'll be able to hear if it's uh, kerfunkled. Exactly. Um, it's there. It'll yep. take a little bit of wobbling to get in. I managed to get it in, so. <laughs> Should be right. <laughs> uh. 
however... Oh, it's just, it wasn't level on this side. Yeah, uh, there's a slight problem with this one. That bent. Yeah, that's bent up. We'll be right back. Oh. Have we got a little... Right, yes. A bit of camera problem there. Got the drive in. There was a bit of a bent tab on the side. Got it straightened. But Robert's just going to show us what the RAM looks like. Uh, yes. It's a bit different than the... There's the screen, you can see. <laughs> ah, okay. Not, you're not on screen yeah. yet. Ooh, uh, oh, zoom out. There you go. I'll come up to you. Hey. Used to all this live stuff. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. It'll just be standard EEC RAM, but uh, it's double height, which is strange. A bit, like, a bit like me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only just off centre, so you could theoretically ram the chip in backwards. Which I really no. hope I haven't done. <laughs> that's, what she, that's what she said. <laughs> right, uh, what's is, next? That's it. Uh, technically, we should turn it on and see if we get uh, magic, smoke magic smoke coming out from me putting the ramen backwards. Right, um, shall we just apply power to it and see if it smokes or not? Or yeah, I'll do a full test. Let's just do a, a basic full start. Uh, full test, I mean. All right. right. We'll be right back. Yeah. Right, okay, well, uh, that's the serial console uh, wired up. Um, um. So, right, okay, this, this, we'll try turning it on and see what happens. Dodgy bit. However, I need to plug it in first. Oh, that's why it's going to power. Yeah, no, oh, that'll explain it. Here we go. <laughs> and by preparation prevents missing performance. Ah, go. And I've also. Oh. Be, yeah. Uh, turn it off. It is not. Ah, that's yours now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got flashies. Right. Um. 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 Okay. Um. Um. Uh, um. Um. That could be because of. Uh, is it doing the flashy thing? Doing the flashy thing. Um, okay. Well, at least the monitor works. That's a start. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> After these important messages. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. Five minutes later and we found out we were using the wrong cable to communicate. Indeed. Now had a null modem cable running through a null modem cable which nullified the nullified <laughs> which made it an equal cable which made it a not not which, yeah. Anyway, so we fixed that. That's Bill Bruley in algebra laughing in the live chat there. Uh, <laughs> we fixed that and let's boot her up and see what she does. If I press the rocker switch the right way that would help. There we go. She's off. Let's go view the screen here. There we go. So Ash can see later when I put this video up. He can review it. Uh, we've got a tag test, it's still flashing, so it's still doing stuff. I don't know if you want to have a look. Flip them up, killing your feet. <laughs> I shall origami myself back out. Yes, it's good fun when you've got big projects. <laughs> I'm going to take my boots off because this is just getting crazy with these things. Up. Yeah, my feet get hot. Oh, it's doing more stuff now. RAM test data, RAM data test. I've never seen anything like this before, and so this is interesting. Keep mm. it for future reference as well. Exactly. I must get my hands on one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's the same as that seal terminal. Yeah, uh, yeah. That would do the same thing. Volt adapter. So that would do the same thing if it was working. Oh, if it's powered. I've been told it was working the last time it was used. And he's giving it here for free, so there's no reason to lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's copied to memory, it's now checking the memory. To, how much memory has it got? Uh, I'm not entirely certain at this point. We'll be able to find out in the banner when it displays on the screen. Yeah, let's just stop flashing. Yep, yeah, that's. It's doing its whatever it's doing. 512 megabytes. Ah, 512 by the looks of. Bank ah. 3, bank 3. 512. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give you 512 and that'll give you a gig. A giggy wiggy. Yeah. Right. You're not going to be short on yours for that, are you? Yeah, just got I'm going to buy more. <laughs> Always end up with stacks of RAM. 
I might have to speed this up on the video. <laughs> it should probe all the scuzzies before turning to the monitor. Right. That um, monitor which is on standby at the moment. Which actually all turned on. Oh, is it it's okay? on standby, yeah. Okay. It should immediately boot it as soon as it finishes. So normally, oh yeah, I saw a video the other night, they don't put output anything to the monitor until it's happy. Yeah. Even though it's not flashing, so you wouldn't know whether it's doing anything or sitting there dead. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Which is a pain. <laughs> Some of the big servers can even take half an hour before it turns on, so... <laughs> without a serial terminal. It's a bit of a shot in the dark. Come on. Uh, is that testing different stuff, or is it looping? Oh no, it's just different, yeah. there you go. You It'll see block one chip. memory. Yeah. Test 11, do, do, do. status failed, NV RAM, whatever. Oh yes, it's got a flat battery. All oh, right. No problem, so have I. And I work, sort of. Yeah, it's a nice <laughs> video in changing the battery for those, actually. It's, it's a very good quality monitor, isn't it? It's very stable. Oh yes. I hated these when I was at college. <laughs> now I should get one. Yeah, I hated them at work. I think Andy Taylor's got one available. You What's mentioned that? it. A uh, VT terminal. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen one of them. You're now on the on the video as well. <laughs> That's, I'll show you in the live chat this thing sitting here. Used to use them at college 20 years ago. Yeah. I used to use them at work 17 years ago. There we go. The monitor's just powered up. Uh, um, it's a Creator 3D, so it should be a little island. Uh, uh, pictures of your planet Earth in the Mark 1. It's a bit like the stuff. Yeah, very similar. Does that take a while usually? Uh, no, but it's that's just pre-charging it at the minute. Pre-charging. It still oh. should probe. Ah, right, so oh it's no, it's reaching OK prompt. Ah, OK. It won't display on the monitor because there's no keyboard attached. That's why. Oh, to this. Yeah. All right. So. Um, so the plan. I think we should turn it off. Whack um, another half gig of RAM in there. Yep. Get a disc in, the original. Hard drive. And uh, power it back up and see if we can get Solaris Keyboard. installed. Right, we shall do that and we'll be right back. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, right, five minutes later and uh, Rob has typing command, writing commands down for me with his huge uh, carpenter's pencil, which I found for him. Because <laughs> he's a big kid, there you go. <laughs> And we have we have it booting onto the screen here. Uh, it can't boot from the boot device yet because I haven't installed anything, obviously. Uh, but they've got the working. keyboard and mouse in the back, so it's now coming onto the screen as well as that one. And a uh, nice list of commands coming down. Right. So I can try and understand what I'm doing. So what are we doing next? Um, it should finish probing the SCSI. Uh, well, I've just got can't boot, open boot. Device. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It's um, already, oh, it's done the probes. Memory bank, UPA slot, PCIs, it's probed. Nothing there. Nothing there. And you've got no so okay found, prompt. It's found a SCSI disk tape. It says here. Oh, on strange. device 3. It's got a network, and then on one, uh, on device 3 is a SCSI disk tape, apparently. There's a card in there. Uh, no, it's that. It's the CD ROM. Oh, it's classing it as a disk tape. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to do straight and school off of this guy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Right, we'll go and try that and we'll be right back. Right, it's now several days later, uh, two days later to be in fact, and Rob has gone back to recover his, his sanity from being here. I think he almost passed out with the amount of stuff he kept finding here. He's like, ooh, 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 I'm going to faint. But anyway, what, so what's been happening with this beast? Well. Uh, after we switched off the camera last time, we tried to do an install off the CD, but it got to the end of installing CD1 and didn't ask for CD2. And then when we rebooted it, it just went to no boot device, uh, trap E3. So first we thought it might be the CD player playing up, so we swapped it for the DVD drive uh, from the Sunblade that I was giving Rob. This wouldn't, for some reason, boot off the DVDs. We think this is a problem with the DVD player itself. It can't read DVDs, but it will read CDs. 
Uh, we didn't install on that off the CD. Uh, it got to the end of one and came up with the same problem. When it when it didn't ask for CD2, but when we did reboot it, uh, it went to boot device error trap E3. So uh, thinking that the possibly the hard drivers needs a reformat. Uh, Rob slipped in one of his spare hard drives uh, because you're talking apparently about seven to nine hours if not more to format the drive on one of these. So we put that one in, we tried the same process and we came up with the same trap E3 and each time obviously it complained that the EEPROM uh, battery is dead. Now I think this is the problem. Every time it reboots uh, the EEPROM is Fuffled, so it's forgetting its settings. So uh, if you boot C, uh, if you try boot disk uh, when it fires up, it comes up with the same problem. Uh, it comes up with the trap E3. We tried a console install, which is using the serial terminal to install it. Uh, that got further, but it, again, when it rebooted, trap E3 and wouldn't boot off the disk. So we think the EEPROM battery is the problem. So Rob has a spare one of them. He's going to whip that out and send it in and we'll try it. One interesting thing that we did find out from this experiment was I shall quickly swap over and show you. Be right back. This thing, uh, we decided just after, <clears throat> just after we gave up on installing, we decided to plug in the Ads Regent uh, 35 which features in a in videos uh, from a couple of years ago when we restored it just to see if it still worked and we plugged it in and to a surprise uh, all the information from the sun came up on its screen so it's communicating fine the only thing we couldn't do is issue commands from this console because that requires a VT100 I think and Tony Cruz if you're watching this you'll probably correct me on this I think this is a VT25 or VT50 compatible so the Basically the ASCII characters that this kicks out to the machine, the machine can't understand, so it just says, uh, doesn't understand basically. So, what we did get the opportunity to test all the keys. And my cowboy repair involving tinfoil pads from two years ago, I can now say, still does work. And all the keys have now settled down, so you don't have that stiff key issue on it. So that's good news. So yes, Rob's going to uh, stick in the e uh in the post and uh, we're going to try it again and uh, hope, hopefully soon Rob will be making a return to the lab and we'll have some more fun. He was very interested in the paint box so we may look at that but in the meantime, yes, hopefully we'll get the sun working soon but good news about that too. So. And if you're interested in that, I shall uh, put links in the video description to the original restoration videos and you can go check it out. So, thank you very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>